All right, good morning. All right, I'm gonna walk you through this uh, visually, so hopefully this will make more sense. Uh, first of all, you are given sine five divided by 13, but they don't want you to find the sine of x, they want you to find the sine of two x. And when there is a two next to the x after that trig function, you can't just pull out a two, you have to use these trig identities. And so we're gonna look, I just wrote down the three trig identities that were that you are asked to find. You're fi asked to find sine of two X, which is, we're gonna use the sine of two A, the cosine of two X. So we're gonna use the cosine of two A formula and the tan of two X. So we're gonna use the tan of two A formula. Each of these formulas, we need to have the sine of A, which we have. So this is just the sine of X that tells us five over 13, but we don't have the cosine. And so we need here the cosine of X. So we need the cosine of X and the tan of X. And to find that way we can use those numbers to plug them into the formulas along with the sine of X, which again, they told us. So let's take a look here at our unit circle. And we know we're in quadrant one, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a triangle with a Y value of five and a radius of 13. And this is just to help us think about the problem and also to find uh, those, the rest of the uh, trig ratios. So I know that the radius is 13 because the sign is Y over R and the Y is five. And this is the one I'm gonna need to find because I'm gonna use cosine is going to be the X value over 13. So to find, so this relationship here for X, some angle is going to be uh, X squared plus five squared equals 13 squared. Just using the Pythagorean theorem. And so X squared equals 13 squared minus five squared. equals. And then I just go ahead and I can put that in my calculator. Uh, you can use desmos.com scientific calculator and you're going to get 169 minus 25 which is 144. And then when you square root x that will be 12. It would be a plus or minus 12 but we're in quadrant one. So we are going to do plus or minus the square root of 144. And because we're in quadrant one, we're just gonna use a positive 12. So X is 12. And that's great because now we have the sine of X we know is five over 13. And now we can just find the cosine of X and the tangent of X very easily. The cosine of X is X over th uh, the radius. So that's gonna be uh, 12 over 13. And the tangent is going to be Tangent of X is going to be uh, Y over X. And so that's five over 12. And they're all positive, which is helpful. And then we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to find each of these values for sine of two A. We're gonna go ahead and put in these numbers. So we're gonna do two, sine of two A is gonna equal two. That's part of the formula times five over 13 times the cosine, which is 12 over 13. And whatever that is, I'm not gonna finish it because of time purposes, but that's just, that's just how you'd figure that out. And then you do the same thing for the cosine of 2a. Just gonna go ahead and put on the cosine squared now. So 12 over 13 squared minus five over 13 squared. And again, you just simplify that and that will give you the cosine of 2a. And the tangent formula is a little more formula, uh, a little more complicated, but again, we're just plugging in those numbers. Just remember that's a grouping symbol here. And so, um, and that should do it. I'm running out of time, so good luck with that and uh, goodbye.